Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube tech guy. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Mobile Weekly slash Mobile Q&A, where we go over all the latest news that happened during the week of mobile and tech and answer your questions live. If you have a question you want to ask, just ask in the comment section down below and I will answer it before the end of the show. All right, guys, so there is a lot to cover today. It does seem a little laggy. I'm going to stop this download I was doing. Uh, but uh, basically, we do have a couple of questions to ask here today. So I am going to see if you guys can answer one thing for me. And I realize this is too big. So let's see, built in with... Slightly smaller battery. Sorry, asking a poll in the chat. Okay, there we go. So putting this in the chat uh, for you guys uh, to answer. Uh, basically, and this deals with our first topic. So let's get to it and we will see what your guys' answer is. So the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 4 is going on right now. And you know, the rumor mill is going right now and that's because they have started testing out exactly what we are going to get, right? So we don't know, uh, what we're gonna get overall at the end of this year in August, uh, or not the end of the year, I guess, but you know, we don't know what we're gonna get overall for it. So I'm very curious to see how it will go down. But the big contention right now, apparently at Samsung is to S Pen or not in the Galaxy Z Fold 4. And as of right now, there are two different versions of it, and one version does house the S Pen, but it has a slightly smaller battery. So my question to you guys is, would you guys rather have a built-in S Pen with a slightly smaller battery, you know, you're talking about maybe 200 milliamps less, versus no built-in S Pen, but with the same battery that we had on the Z Fold 3. So this is not gonna be an increase in battery size regardless. It's just gonna be a smaller battery or built-in batter or built-in S Pen with a smaller battery. Let me know you guys thoughts in the comment section. We have a poll going and I'll answer it once we're done with all of the news. Um, I will obviously say for me, built-in S Pen is definitely worth it to have a slightly smaller battery. Of course, there is a simple solution for this Samsung, and that is for you to simply stop using the same uh, basically molding that you have for the past few years and actually just make it wider. Because guess what? If you make it wider, you solve everyone's issue. If you make this phone slightly wider, what happens is you get the same battery or even a bigger battery because there is two sides to the battery, one on this side, one on that side. So you get a bigger battery and you get an S Pen built in and you get a bigger front screen and you get a wider phone with a bigger screen when you open this phone up. So it literally solves all your problems. It literally solves every problem that the Fold 3 has is solved by just making it wider. Like, I get it, Samsung, you spent so much money. You spent so much money making this foldable. I get it, I really do. But if you just move it forward a little bit more, you'll sell millions more. It's just that simple. But as of right now, you that's the, that's the big thing. It's one or the other that they are working on. The two prototypes that they have are either with an S Pen with a smaller battery or S Pen still on the outside with the uh, same size battery as the Z Fold 3. 
And those are the two options. So let me know again, which one you prefer, but that is what we're looking at. Now, in terms of screen size and everything, we're talking very minimal difference on the front screens. They're 0 0.01 bigger, each of them. So the Z Flip 3 and the Z Fold 3, basically to the Z Fold 4 and Z Flip 4, it basically is just boop, slightly bigger and that's about it. So we'll see what other changes they make, but it looks like the screen sizes aren't gonna basically change, um, which is, you know, I, I don't mind the Flip 3 three to flip four, not changing the screen size so much. You could again, which they slightly are changing the front screen. I think that's the only screen people care about making bigger or anything like that. But I, I'm really kind of just curious how would it go basically? So yeah, it's, it's very curious in terms of it. Like what can they change to the flip four? What would you want to see in the flip four? Besides, besides maybe S Pen uh, compatibility, but that won't happen because it does cost money to put a digitizer underneath the display. And I rather have the Flip 4 be at $1,000 still than have it go up even $100 for that digitizer. So I would say I like it at that price, uh, but let me know what you guys think in the comment section. All right, now the other foldable that everyone's looking out for is the Pixel. And uh, although we just got, you know, code names for the Pixel 7 and Pixel 7 Pro, these are only the code names, nothing more to it than that so far. You know, rumors about being a better camera, yada, yada, all that kind of stuff. But the one thing that really is going to be interesting, we'll see, is going to be the fold uh, or the pixel foldable or the pixel notebook as it's being referred to. And as of right now, it looks like the prototype is being worked on again. And it looks like, looks like that it would come out in Q4 2022. I think this is entirely possible, but I'm very curious on how this would go. Uh, simply because Samsung does such a good job at foldables, uh, not only in foldables, but in Android tablets in general. I am testing out a Lenovo tablet and there are certain things that I miss that Samsung offers that this one doesn't. So it, it really is just a whole thing where like it, it has to be worth it for sure um, more than anything else. But I think we'd have to wait and see how that goes. All right, um, in terms of the S22 series, it is coming with the default messenger. We talked about this last week, uh, but just to reiterate it again, it is gonna be pre-installed with Google Messages in the US now. So it will be Google Messages, but it'll have an Android, it'll have a Samsung look. So it's basically like a, a Samsung skin version of Google Messages. But I think that's good. You know, having Google Messages across the board as a default is, a step in the right direction. Quite frankly, it's such a slow step that we will see how it goes. But yeah, we'll have to wait and see how it is. All right. Now for the last bit of news, I do um, kind of want to go over one thing and that is how to make the uh, best pre-order possible with Samsung right now. Because uh, for one thing, you should know that there are only four days left for these insane deals that Samsung is giving. The All of these trade-in values will go down after Thursday night. So once Thursday is done, these trade-in values all go down. So let's talk about what deals you can get and I'll go over each of them and then I'll put the links in the description down below for you guys um, to get your own if you haven't yet. So first of all, um, for the S22 Ultra, you can get 200 to 250 if you did um, pre-register the pre-order, you got an extra 50 bucks. So you can get up to $250 instant savings total. Uh, with the S22 Ultra. If you go to the S22 or S22 Plus, I believe that gets reduced to 200 or 150, uh, whichever one you get. So just note that. But let's get to these 
trade-in values. And if I can go back to the ultra, there we go. Okay, so let's go back to these trade-in values. So for one, the biggest trade-in value, I believe, at least for Samsung, I have to check on iPhone, but is the Galaxy, Flo uh, the Galaxy Fold 3. You get $900 for the Fold 3. Now, this is different because of the fact that, unfortunately, the Folds have gone down in value since they have come out. The Fold 1 kept a lot of its value. You could have easily sold it for 1,300, no problem. The Fold 2, at this time last year, I had sold it for, I believe, 1,100 uh, last year, no problem. This one is now getting less in terms of its retaining its value. So you have to know that, that basically, unfortunately, because these there's more foldables on the market, it decreases in value because, you know, now there's three different folds out there and the market is bigger and people can get whatever they want. So just know that, that obviously the trading value is less. So you can get up to 900 if you uh, trade that in for T-Mobile, or you can get up to 1,100 if you trade it in for Verizon. Now, here's the difference with that. And that is that if you trade in the S20, um, or the S21 or the Note, it's gonna be different. So Verizon gives you up to $200 more for trade-in and T-Mobile is $100 less than any of the other ones, including the unlocked model. So that's what you should know first and foremost. If you are a Verizon customer, you get more for your trade-in with on here for Verizon. And if you're a T-Mobile customer, it's actually cheaper to get the T-Mobile variant than the unlocked variant per se. Um, obviously, the biggest thing is, is right now everyone is getting a free memory upgrade. So that's another thing you have to know. You are getting a free memory upgrade right now. Then the other thing is, is that you also um, are getting a longer wait time. So all of these now are till April 8th. And I believe that is true for everything. Oh, if you actually got the black 512, you can actually get that sooner. So it looks like the black is the least popular uh, color this time around. Um, or they just made way more of those basically. But everything else is you're waiting on April 8th for uh, the basically uh, any of the ultras right now. Now, when you trade in again, if you trade in, say like I am trading my Fold 3, that's 900. Both the S21 Ultra and the Note 20 Ultra are 800. Now that is pretty interesting because you would think that the Note 8, or sorry, the Note 20 was going to be cheaper at like maybe 700, but it's actually being traded at the same value. And I do believe this is because again, one, the booster right now for pre-orders, but two, it's also because of the fact that once, um, once people had the note, they didn't want to get another phone. This effectively is the note 22 ultra so that is why probably they knew a lot of people would want to trade it in and they up the value of it again for the pre-order time and not after now knowing this also if you do activate with t-mobile i couldn't get it to work on launch day so i missed out on this myself but you can get an extra 50 dollars off so it comes off instantly so instead of 399 boom you add this it's automatically 349 now you have to basically effectively activate it for your new line. Um, so just know that, that that's all that would add up to it. So right now we're at 349. Now, once you pre-order from here, you can get certain accessories and I'm not sure if certain ones are back in stock now or not, like all of the chargers sold out early. Um, so I'm not sure if those are back in stock. They even added the trio, which is the oldest one out of all of these because people, you know, sold out of these. So they're offering trio and different other ones. The cases, a lot of them sold out. So the white version of this is completely sold out. So it's not there anymore. Uh, again, uh, the other colored versions of the leather case sold out. The clear one's back in stock. That was one of the ones I wanted. Um, and I, I, I got this one. I did not get the white version of this one or the blue version for that matter. I guess it's back in stock. So that's all you can do. And here's the thing. 
It's only available till um, the 12th, or sorry. No, oh, the bundle offers are only available till then. But, so here's the thing. You can get this, but one thing you should know is if instead of getting this, you can put this towards a tablet, even a bigger tablet than the ones they show. So they have a 256 here now, but they did not have that beforehand, right? So you could put it towards this and your tablet discount will be dramatic, especially if you trade in for that. So I wouldn't add it here. Don't add it here. But what you should do is go from here, go skip add-ons. You'll get the 25, you can get the 25, 250 later. Keep shopping. Then from here or Oh wait, sorry. You have to go to the skip add-ons and then check out. Once you're in checkout, just go back to Samsung. It's gonna have me try to sign in. I don't want to sign in. Um, well, basically once you're there, you then go back and then you add on the tablet. That way, basically you can trade in for the tablet as well, get the 250 off, Plus on top of that, the additional $100 off, so that's 350 that you get when you bundle the 22 Ultra with the Tab 8 Ultra. And then you get to trade in your old tablet. So if you wanna get it, get whichever one you want. Uh, these are till the 29th right now, just so you know. And then you can trade in there and Basically what this will do is instead of $5.99, right, for trading in, let's see, oh, let's trade in the tablet better. So if you had an old, let's say Tab S6 or Tab, I have a Tab S6, 7 plus, so like mine was really low, but even if you get a Tab S6, trade that in. Now you're talking about $8.49 plus $250 off, plus another $100 off. So that means you would get this for about $549 instead of getting the discount. So basically, if you wanna get the maximum discount, that would be a really good way to do it is get it with the tablet and all together. So yeah, just wanted to go over that with you guys. Uh, that was what I did. And basically with my Tab S7 Plus, I am ended up only paying about $150 for my Tab S8 Ultra. So yeah. And here are both links for you guys. There's some affiliate links. So, you know, if you get it, it helps me out, but just wanted to kind of go over the breakdown uh, for you guys a little bit. All right, now let's get to your questions. And before we do that, let's go over the poll. So the poll's a little closer than I thought. Um, it ended up going uh, 32 votes so far. If you haven't voted yet, vote uh, for our poll in the chat. And right now, it's very close. 56% of you said you would rather have built-in S Pen with a smaller battery. So most of you agree with me and that I, I would rather have a built-in S Pen more, so. And then 44% say, no, I want no built-in S Pen, but I want the same size battery. It's a very Sophie's choice for sure, I would say in terms of features. I think both are very important, but we'll have to wait and see how it goes. So yeah, all right. Wider is the only good option. So, oh, sorry, uh, the the thing was kind of being blocked. So, uh, good day, Australia GA is excited to see this item in the tile. Cool. Um, sup, everybody? Anybody get your S twenty two yet? No, my yours is arriving tomorrow. That's so cool, Warren. Uh, mine is supposed to be coming on Tuesday, but like a lot of people, I got the. Your phone is now delayed. Your shipment is now delayed. So FedEx, as of right now, still says that it's coming on Tuesday, but we'll have to wait and see. I hope it is. Um, but yeah, as soon as it comes in, I'm, I'm ready for it. I'm ready for sure. All right. Um, 
Let's see. You should have included in your poll. I didn't include in my poll. The Again, the wider solution is the best solution. To make it wider literally solves every single issue that everyone has with this phone. You make it wider, you have a bigger front screen then. And it's not so narrow to type on the keyboard. You have a bigger battery. You have an S Pen built in, for a room for an S Pen to be built in. And finally, the last thing you do have, of course, is you also have a bigger screen. So it's even bigger and it's a wider angle. Instead of a square, it gets closer to the correct aspect ratio of 16 by nine. Now it wouldn't be 16 by nine per se. It's still closer to a four by four. Uh, but that is what's so cool about it. That we get closer to that, you know, maybe a five by six aspect ratio. And that is what we want. We want to get closer to the correct aspect ratio. So videos even look 10 times better. Apps look better and everything would look better. So yeah, wider is the best solution, but that is not what Samsung is looking at right now. Why? Because they essentially want to keep the same molding that they've done for the past few phones. It's cheaper that way. All right. Um, you need to tell them that size. Yeah, I, I wish I could. Um, I'm freaking out about the S22 Ultra, uh, one terabyte color sold out. Yeah, man, one terabyte is one, it, it actually did sell very well. Um, and again, all the colors sold out very well. I think they thought more people would go black, uh, but it looks like a lot of people wanted the, you know, the red, the gold, the green, all these different colors. It's really something that it took Samsung by surprise from what I hear. Um, we can't wait till tomorrow, bruh. Uh, S22, 286 gig should be arriving. Oh, man, some of you guys are getting them tomorrow. I'm, I'm, I'm a little jealous, I'm not gonna lie. Hope you get it Tuesday, no, I'm sorry. Uh, but no, I, I hope you guys get it uh, for sure. Tag me in your post, man. If, if you have social media, tag me and uh, let me see it. Let me see what it looks like, you know, just very excited uh, to see how it goes for sure. Um. Wider is the best answer. Maybe they would have enough room to have a better camera. Also, that's a good point. Maybe get some camera upgrades in there that way too, but yeah, I don't know. Uh, from what I hear, uh, we're probably gonna get the same cameras that we're, uh, that we're getting on the, um, the S22 Plus. So those were upgrades from the cameras, that, the same cameras that have been had for years. So the Z Fold 4, is going to get those cameras. Uh, so it is gonna be an upgrade in camera quality from the Z3 to the Z4 fold when it comes out. Again, this is until August, but that's uh, what I'm hearing right now. Um, ordered the S22 512 green and uh, 26 and tab S8 26. Not getting it till the first better not be a joke. I hope it doesn't get delayed more, man. Um, so I did two orders. Uh, I did mine and uh, I did my wife's the next day uh, with my tablet. So my tablet's coming with my wife's uh, phone. Uh, no information on that second order yet. Like they're still saying it's processing. Um, so mine is coming in hopefully on Tuesday but um, I don't know. I don't know what's going on with my second uh, one and that so yeah very curious to see um uh, mullet baby you can trade in four devices per year now that is awesome to hear last year it was only two devices i know because i hit the limit um and so that's really cool to hear that they upped it to four devices per year it just makes sense i mean more people are in the same household like i don't i don't I get it, you know, there's gonna be people that take advantage of it otherwise, that are like scam artists and all this kind of stuff. But man, like, can't we just, you know, like, like I, for instance, would love to upgrade a lot of people's devices and I can't because, you know, in my family, because I'm like, well, you can't get a new device because I need a new device, so what you gonna do? Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I think about this, like when my kids are older, like, you know, what am I going to do per se? I can't trade in all devices. I mean, maybe they'll keep upping the trade-ins as years go by. Um, but yeah, I, th I think six is a good number, but four is a start. I mean, four is already double what we had last year. So hopefully if they don't have any issues with it, we'll keep getting more. 
they should make the Z fold into the best of the best, uh, make it the note. Uh, better off throwing uh, the Note S22 and the Ultimate Note Fold. I completely agree. Unfortunately, I think we're a couple of years away until they can, to be quite honest. Right now, they don't want to make it that thick to fit new cameras. And uh, yeah, although they have, you would think, the space for a bigger battery, they don't uh, because of its narrowness. Which, you know what I'm saying? If they just make it wider, it'll be better. But yeah, we'll have to wait and see. Um... Whoa, a whole bunch of questions just loaded. Everybody drink. Some of us had the S22 for a while. Oh, mullet baby. How you gonna do me like that? Around or near August 11th suggested the next unpacked. Whoa, thank you mullet baby for that exclusive. That's what, hey, if, if you guys ever t tell anyone about live show where you get exclusives better than anyone else, August 11th is the suggested date for the next Samsung Unpacked where the Z Fold 4 and the Z Fold 4 and the Z Flip 4 will be announced. Location may be New York, Samsung's flagship store. That would be so cool. I I, I hope by that time, please God let it be by that time, that it can be in person. I, I, I love Samsung Unpacked events. They're just so fun and so cool to be at. I mean, I know the other influencers, you got the MKBHEs, Average Consumer, you know, all these guys, all these bigger guys get it way earlier. But I think that would just be so cool to have it be that early, uh, or sorry, have an event so that other influencers could actually go there, get their hands on it and test it on, go over it. Cause yeah, that would be really cool in my opinion. All right. Um, I seem washed out on my white balance, huh? Uh, let's see. Let's see. I don't know if I, I've never tried changing this on my, while well, live, so. It's seeming to struggle to change it live. Is that a little bit better? Let me know. I, I didn't see it change, so hopefully it changed. I'm not sure, maybe it can't change live. I think that's a little bit lower though. Um, but yeah. All right. Um, <laughs> our Ross said, I know why you're saying that. You just got the Fold 3. <laughs> uh, Fold 4 is not already coming out. Don't worry. That's still August. August 11th, apparently, is the announcement. Have you had any issues uh, from the update on the Galaxy 4 Watch Classic? No. No issues on the watch yet, for sure. Hey, Rudy Can't Game. Thank you, man, for being a member for 14 months. That is so awesome. Um, Ricky needs to, oh yeah, sorry, did that one, huh, 54 out of 44, yeah, it's, it stayed about the same, uh, now we have 42 votes in for the poll, uh, if you haven't voted on the poll, vote on the top, this is, this is literally what Samsung is deciding right now, and it is 58 to 42 percent, uh, 43 votes. So, hey, maybe Samsung is right. Maybe it is a tough decision. I like my Fold. I don't want a smaller battery. Got it. Um, mine was through T-Mobile, through UPS. No delay notifications yet. Hopefully it won't be. Has it left the facility yet? That's, that's the most important part. Have you seen videos of people uh, running Windows 11 and Android 12 uh, devices? Why Android is better? Running Windows 11 on Android Fold device. No, I haven't seen that. I, I do have the Amazon App Store now on my Windows 11 uh, computer. Um, it's absolutely worthless. Absolutely worthless. I was gonna do a video on it. I was like, oh man, I should totally do a video on it. Maybe I should still do a video on it just to let people know. But I mean, where are the apps, Amazon? Like, I mean, you don't even have basic ones, like the ones people would want. Instagram, TikTok, like these are these are the two that I can think of right away 
there are mobile apps that people want on Windows and neither one is there. By the way, the reason I say those two right away is because their their uh, PC version, essentially website, you can't do as many things. But if you brought like the mobile TikTok to a uh, PC, you could do so much with that. Same with Instagram. You cannot do hardly anything on Instagram on the website, but on the app you can. So things like that would be a lot better. And the Windows version of the app is no better. Um, and yes, I, I do know, by the way, that there is a way to get Android on your Windows thing, but you have to disable a lot of things. And it's not something that I would say the average consumer would do. So that's why I decided against doing uh, a video on that, by the way. Um, let's see. I got a note uh, is going to delay. Uh, so when should I expect it? Uh, supposed to get Tuesday. Um, again, check the FedEx uh, number that they sent you for the tracking because mine is still shipping. So as far as I can tell, it is not delayed, but we'll have to wait and see. Um, so yeah, let's see what else we have here. So basically you're saying you wish it uh, was the Honor uh, Magic 5 foldable phone. It's so beautiful. Honor Magic 5. I haven't seen the Honor Magic 5 foldable. I have seen the, what's the other foldable right now? The, is it the Huawei or who makes the, I, I think it was the N, the fold. The, the, oh, that's all I remember what it was, but let's see. How does it compare? I have not seen this one, by the way. I've not seen how uh, this one is in comparison. But uh, let's see, let me compare it specs wise to the fold three. Okay, so let's go ahead and see how these two compare. Um, so the front screen is, or sorry, the main display is 7.9. And the front display is 6.4. Yeah, that sounds like it's much better in terms of how you would want the size to be. Um, can't see the aspect ratios on this one. At least, at least uh, GSM Marina doesn't have it yet. But yeah, this is this looks great in terms of. I can already tell this is um, possibly not as tall. Is it not as tall? No. So it, it is slightly taller still. Um, it's just wider. So it's just it's just wider, and it is thicker. So yes, yeah, th th this looks a lot better dimensions. Um, now, don't get me wrong. I don't think the Honor will probably um, be as good in terms of software. Um, you know, Huawei's software, Honor software with uh, uh, Huawei software with Honor skin on it essentially isn't as good but um yeah that looks like a much much better dimensional phone for sure man <laughs> um can you trade in the galaxy view for a tab um i don't think so but man the, the galaxy view i still love those galaxy views uh, literally my son has one um that is his like first tablet that he got um and that he learned to use like he 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 plays fruit ninja with that he's two years old he plays fruit ninja with that no problem uh, so yeah, it was literally what he learned to navigate on that and the TCL tablet. Well, the TCL tablet did have a lot of lagging issues. Like it, it, it wasn't good enough for him. <laughs> um, basically he was impatient. Uh, so yeah, that would, I would say for sure that other one was better. My buddy sold me an S21 for only 200. He used it for a month before deciding to get a new iPhone. I've only had the budget phones and it feels worlds better. That is awesome, King Henry. That is really awesome. Dude, for that price, I mean, you could have traded in and got more money too and get like a, I mean, but like, that's awesome. That's so cool. Uh, really cool for him to trade it in for only 200 for you. Um, especially I got the uh, green 512, three different clear cases. Oh, snap grip um, uh, to dress it up. Nice, nice, man, really cool. Upgrading from the S20 5G, don't care about uh, the internals. Um, 
just did it for the full boxed metal frame cool nice yeah better reinforced for sure um hey ricky hope all is well with you and your family i got the s22 ultra on t-mobile gave me a hundred dollars uh, sorry a thousand dollars off the phone paying just 299 from the phone coming on 21st oh coming tomorrow oh paul i don't like you right now but you're still cool um yeah no that is awesome man that is really awesome yeah uh t-mobile did have a really cool deal uh the only reason i wasn't interested in it was because i'm not on the magenta max plan or any of the magenta plans um i keep thinking like to change to it but it just doesn't make sense still uh for me to change uh to the magenta uh plan so i haven't done it yet um Whoa, a whole bunch of questions just loaded. Everybody drink. Google, Apple, and Samsung stores, all three in the same area. Oh, you know, I would really, that would really be cool to go to New York again. I haven't been there in a while. It's been really cool, but yeah, would be it would be fun to go there again. Hey, everybody. Yeah, I hope you come back soon, man. Yeah, it would be cool to go to New York again for sure. Um, what's the difference between an unlocked phone and the other one? Um, silly question, but there you go. So the unlocked phone, uh, you can easily switch to any carrier, uh, carriers, uh, can't lock it basically. Um, so all phones are naturally unlocked, but your carriers lock it. So what that means per se is that if you buy a Verizon version of the phone, even though hardware wise, it perfectly works with T-Mobile, it perfectly works with AT&T. If you put a T-Mobile or at t SIM in it, it won't work. It'll basically say, um, this ain't Verizon. Like, go. Uh, so, yeah. So, that is essentially what it is. Is basically that you can move it between carrier and carrier and you don't have to worry about anything. Uh, now, carriers will unlock it for you, but they will do it after a time, uh, after you paid off your entire phone. Um, but the benefit of a carrier phone is that you get updates quicker. Uh, so the updates do go through quicker uh, in comparison to the unlocked version in the US, which is the opposite of everywhere else around the world, but I digress. Um, yes, it left the vicinity two-day air. That's awesome, cool. Instead of making a built-in S Pen, uh, they should keep the same uh, pin and put a magnetic on the back of the phone. Much better, comfortable, uh, little toothpick um so here's the thing if they would do that the problem with that is is then cases would have to be much different um and they could do it right i mean they do it with a tablet but the tablet has a lot more space so they could make cases that have like a special section that you know encloses the pen possible but it is it's just it's more for them to do um, so it's not that it's not impossible, but it's, it's more that, you know, how many case manufacturers are going to go through that. Um, now the foldables have proven that they're selling more. So what I have heard is that more case manufacturers are going to jump on board with the fold four and case manufacturers are very important. Um, I got a really cool new TCL phone, uh, very inexpensive, one of the least expensive 5G phones. Uh, just got it in setting it up today. And one of the biggest things is though, I don't, I, it's very hard to find a case for this phone. So, and that is with every manufacturer, right? Obviously Samsung and Apple get priority. If there is a case manufacturer in the US, they make an iPhone case. If they make any Android case in the world. They also make a Samsung case. Like that is that is the steps, right? That that is the steps of case manufacturers. And then some of them will make a Pixel one. Some of them will make a TCL one. Some of them will make a One Plus case. But that is one of the biggest advantages about getting the flagship mainstream phones is that. The S series case, the cases for the Samsung S series, you will get more options than you will if you get the fold, than you will if you get the flip. Uh, it's it's just what it is because it, the ones that sell the most are gonna get the most cases. So yeah. So 
the point of that was just basically that if they do a special kind of thing where like the phone the pen magnetically connects on the back well then they're gonna have to make special cases for it how many manufacturers will make it uh first time doing best buy pre-order for a device do they uh go early to the store pickup or wait for release date um usually if you ship it directly to you they can ship it early i haven't seen them uh, for, uh, doing, going early, uh, for the, um, what do you call it? Um, I haven't seen them go early for the, uh, what was I going to say? Sorry, I saw a comment and it threw me off. Um, I haven't seen them come early from the store, but I could be wrong. I've been out of the game of Best Buy for a long time. I did get the pre-order, um, shipped to me directly for the iPhone when we got the iPhone for the studio. I got that one, I wanna say it was like a day early. Um, like basically the next day it was supposed to come out, I got it shipped to me that night before, but literally that night, it was like 8 p.m. at night. So it was early, but it, a day early. I would say the Best Buy more often than not will probably do it on time or like maybe a day early. Um, oh, is that Android Windows ability available now? I was wondering about that. So um, Amazon App Store is available now on Windows. You can put the Amazon App Store on Windows 11 um, right now. Um, however, uh, you have to update the latest version of Windows 11 too. Um, there is a workaround to put full Android uh, Google Play Store on there, but it's very techy. And I, I always like to do more mainstream stuff. So yeah, that's why. Um, look up the reviews for the, uh, Honor Magic 5. Uh, I think it has the, uh, SB, the Snapdragon, um, G1 chip. Badass. Um, so yeah, well, I'll check it out. I, I mean, for me, the reason why I don't usually care for Honor is because they usually, not always, but they usually don't make a U.S. version of it. Um, and again, it depends on the price too, man. If, if it's $2,000 or anywhere around that, I mean, how many other phones could I get for that same price? I could get, you know, uh, as, as an influencer, right? I'm a smaller influencer. If I had, you know, money like MKBHD, buy all the, buy all the phones, buy all the phones. Uh, but, you know, for me, I have to essentially think like, okay, if I spend a thousand five hundred, say, 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 I don't know what price it is, right? I don't know what price it is, but if the Honor Magic Five was a thousand five hundred, well, for that same price, I can get you know an S twenty two, a Galaxy A fifty two, um, or sorry, A fifty three, like the new new ones coming out. I can get both of those phones for that price and still have enough over for like another a Samsung tablet. And arguably those three devices would get more views than that one device. Uh, so it's just about, you know, popularity and everything that for, for my channel perspective. Um, and again, if I had the money, I would love to review every single, every single product to come out because I love new technology. I like that interests me for sure that phone really interested me but it, it's a it's a thing of financial capability and unfortunately i couldn't probably get that one but after you mentioned it already yeah i'm gonna check it out for sure um i also got the delivery delayed message but fedex shows it on tuesday uh, at the local hub can't wait hey man i'm hope hoping it all goes well because that's what i'm for sure hoping um, are the Galaxy Pro uh, Buds Pro uh, worth it uh, to use the 250 credit on? I hear 50-50 reviews. Um, I thought they were good. Um, I have them here somewhere. They're in a drawer, uh, if that's an indication. But I am definitely lucky enough to get a bunch of headphones sent to me. Um, so these are the clears. These are the other Galaxy Buds. I don't know where my pros are, but um, yes, is it good? Yeah, I think it is. I, I honestly think it is overall definitely good in terms of their quality. 
Are they worth the 250? No. No, I wouldn't say they're worth the 250. I would say you're better off getting the uh, Galaxy Buds 2s. Uh, those are really good. Um, and honestly, they fit better in my ears personally than the uh, than the Buds Pro did. Um, so yeah, that, that's what I would recommend. Whoa, Carlos, man. Thank you so much for your super chat donation. Uh, what character is that in your icon too? It looks really cool. I don't know. Uh, yeah, tell me. I, I'm like, I'm like thinking like, I don't know if it's a dynasty warrior or an anime. It's, it's smaller. So I can't, I can't see exactly what it looks like, but uh, really cool, man. Thank you so much for the super chat donation. Uh, I like your info. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that, man. Um, so yeah. But yeah, so for the Galaxy Buds Pro, I would probably get the Galaxy Buds 2s and get yourself like a wireless charger or a fast charger or uh, the car wireless charger that we reviewed a couple weeks ago. It's still really good. I, I have had no issues with it. So yeah. I would trade that S21 on trade in. Yeah, man, that's a good one. Um, app, uh, is a fruit samurai. Yes, he is. He's a fruit samurai for sure. If you search, uh, YouTube, uh, for windows 11 on Android, you see some videos full windows 11 on droid, uh, dual boot. I'll check that out. I, I don't know how well windows 11 arm version would run on it, but very curious. You know, what would be a great device to have that on? the new tablet from Samsung because having a tab S22 or sorry, a tab S8 ultra with a 14, almost 15 inch display, 14.6 inch display as a windows product and an Android product. That is interesting. Uh, very interesting actually. Um, but yeah, I'll check it out. Um, my tab S a plus and keyboard on the way, uh, by here, uh, 22nd got updates today. Nice. So Tuesday as well, upgrading note nine S 22 come Tuesday, man. Tuesday is going to be the day. Tuesday is going to be the day. It looks like, um, yeah. T-Mobile deal was crazy. Uh, two nine nine plus, uh, 91 with tax. 12.5 a month for two years. That's like nothing for sure. That's awesome. Uh, do unlocked phones have the ability for software upgrades or do they, or do you need to buy carrier specific? So it's complicated in the U S uh, carriers push out updates, not the manufacturers. Um, so basically you will get the update when T-Mobile allows the update to go to the unlocked version. Um, so you do get it, you just get it longer. And uh, this is coming from a person that's bought mix and match over the over like a four year period. And I realized that it was better to get the carrier version because of the fact that it definitely got the updates quicker. And when I had my unlocked versions, well, what happened is someone on Twitter or Instagram or something like that would be like, oh, we got the new upgrade. And I'm like, what the hell? I haven't got an upgrade for like a month, you know? And so it's just like, that. that's what always happened for me. So that's when I started just going for the regular one. And that's what it is. Um, I end up going with. Is Samsung Care Plus insurance worth it? Um, so I'm not familiar with Samsung as much, but let's just go over extended warranties in general. Um, is it worth it? Well, I always say it depends on the person. Um, so if you drop crack or spill your phone and it's covered, Hey, do you often do that? Like I have never broken a phone and I've had many. Um, so I am very cautious with my phones. If you are closer to like my brother or if you're a parent, like, um, that, you know, has kids playing with their phone, all that kind of stuff, it could be very, you know, could get damaged. Uh, so I think it depends on the person. Um, here's how I looked at it, uh, from a standpoint when all of my family at one point had these, right? 
So when I was with Verizon um, and then T-Mobile, I took off, I think it, I think in T-Mobile, I finally took off those extended warranties because I realized something. We were all paying about like, I think it was like 10 bucks at the time. Uh, we were all paying about 10 bucks. So that was about, uh, I think at the time it was four people, right? So 40 bucks a month. 40 bucks a month. Well, so let's do some calculations, right? So if we put 40 times 12, 480. 40 times 24 then, 960. So this was at the point where phones were closer to 500, but even if you count it to, you know, 960, Say, say, actually no let's let's do it to let's do it for one year so forty dollars paid times 12 was 480. you still have a deductible so add another 200 250 300 like i don't know how much the deductibles are now back when i was paying for them they were like 200 bucks and up so i'm sure they've only gotten more expensive but let's say for the sake of argument it was 200 uh, bucks so that's now 680 dollars for that price, you could effectively buy like a, a, a entry level flagship. So, you know, you could buy essentially um, an S21 for that price, right? For definitely when it's older and on sale, you could definitely buy that. So what I ended up doing was for one year, I took everyone's insurance money, right? Built that up, built that up and we effectively had, I think it was like 700 bucks. And I, I put that in a savings account, was separate from everything else. So, and then I stopped paying T-Mobile for that insurance. So the reason why I did that was because, okay, now I had $700 extra for a broken phone. So whoever broke their phone, we could then replace it. Um, so yeah, that, that's how I figured that out and basically did it that way as a family plan. As an individual plan, it's a bit more tricky because obviously you're you're not paying as much, right? So you're you know it might be more worth it to you, or it could be more worth it to you to do what I did in your own way, right? Like you build up, if you save forty bucks a month for one year, that gives you four hundred eighty dollars. Um, that's not as much as a phone now, but I'm saying like you could put aside that money yourself, have it have built up for one full phone and then put that aside, put that in a savings account, you know, let it build interest, little interest that savings account give you now, but just put that aside. And that could be your, I broke my phone coverage. And if you ever break your phone, if you ever lose your phone, that, that money's there for you to do it. Um, and no deductible. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so that, that's the kind of thing that like I figured out after uh, doing multiple insurances throughout my lifetime and everything like that. Um, and I used to sell them, right? I, I used to work at Best Buy, I used to work at Circuit City, so I used to sell those uh, coverages. And um, employees were the ones that took the advantage of them the most. Um, now this girl got fired for this, but I remember there was a girl um, who worked at Best Buy and in the middle of the floor, so uh, where like customers could see, cameras could see, which was why she got fired. Um, she put her MacBook over the trash can and spilled like soda on it. She got her new MacBook because basically it was, oh yes, it got spilled. Cause it only covered spilled. It didn't cover, it didn't cover submersion at the time. I don't know what it covers now, but you know, it, 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 it busted it. It busted that MacBook, and she got the newer version of the MacBook, basically, uh, with that, or at least that's what would have happened if it, if, if that had, if it wasn't on camera. Um, so yeah, so that's, uh, that's how all that stuff goes down, uh, for sure. Um, but for me, um, I, I will say that for sure back in the day when there was cameras still, I just, when I opened the drawer to see my headphones, I realized I have this old ass Canon camera in here. I was like, what the hell? The 320, oh my God, it's so old. Uh, but yeah, so 
Canon used to be one of the, the best cameras out there uh, when uh, possible. But sure enough, what I used to do with these, right? I would open up the camera, drop. Camera would get busted, accidental damage, got the brand new version every time. Uh, so yeah, uh, employees were definitely the ones that took advantage of that employee plan the most for sure. Um, yeah, it was for sure a thing. Um, tablets were the same way. I saw so many cracked tablets. Every time the new tablet would come out, boom. Uh, so yeah, th they're, they're definitely people that take advantage of it way worse than that too. And just all these kind of things. But yeah, th those, those insurance plans, um, and sometimes they will deny things because it was too much like that's, that's not an accident that there is no way that happened by accident. Right. So like sometimes it really is like that, but so those are my thoughts on insurance plans. My thoughts are always basically, you know, yourself, if you are probably going to break it or you are probably going to drop it. If, if you've, if you've broken a phone in the past, you should get it. If you are much more careful now and you don't really drop things like that and all that kind of stuff, then you shouldn't. So yeah. Um, can you sh share the yellow fire on the S22 homepage? Um, I don't have it. I'm not sure if someone else had it, but yeah, I don't have the S21 Ultra. Um, did you hear Apple might get rid of the SIM card and uh, for a built-in SIM card? Uh, well, yeah, eSIMs have been around for a long time. Um, Samsung was the first company to come out with it. And then Apple started doing it on their Apple watches. And then now they also have it on their iPhones. Um, but yeah, there are talks about it. The problem is, is carriers still need to catch up in the US. So I don't know if it will be right away, uh, but oh my God, eSIMs were a headache for carriers because they didn't know what to do. They didn't know what to do. There was no training on it. Uh, carriers, especially cross brand carry. Oh my God, it was a nightmare. So I don't know if carriers have improved that much in the past three years since I haven't really visited their stores as much anymore. Uh, but yeah, carriers did not know what to do with it. Did not know. Um, the first app you will download for the S22 is 51st Questions, right? Shameless plug. Yeah, I know it's Smart Switch first thing. Yeah, Smart Switch is actually built into it. So, um, that well, it's built in, but then you have to upgrade it. So, yeah. But yes, speaking of shameless plugs, let's go over 51st Day Questions. It is a game that I created and I always love you guys to support and download it. Basically, it's a great game to play on a first date. You ask them a question, they ask you a question, you get to find out about each other, find out if you're compatible. I swear to you, it's better than every single reality show dating uh, show out there. I know because I see them all the time that my wife watches. This is way better. It's a much better way to find love. Uh, 50 first date questions is in the description down below for Android and iOS. Um, whoa, a bunch of questions just loaded. Everybody drink. Um, audio files think the Buds Pro are good, uh, but I don't have them. Got it. Uh, I, I think the buds were definitely good. I would say they're in my top three for audio for sure. Um, I think sound core is probably the best overall sound. I would say the sound core Liberty three pros. I think those are the last ones I tried out and they're still the ones that I have in my backpack all the time. Um, so yeah, I think those are the best sounding I would say out of all of them that I've, um, had. Uh, Ricky, I watched a couple years ago, love your reviews and I've seen Floss get the tab of A plus it's a beast, man. Uh, yeah, hit Floss already got it. That's awesome. Uh, but yeah, so I'm, I'm very curious on how these tablets will go and yeah, that's, that's crazy. You got the tablet already. I, they must've sent it to him. I know they had, did send it to some reviewers for sure. Um, Let's see. Fireplace lock screen is on my website. Yes, that's true. You can get the the best wallpaper of all time uh, on my website for the lock screen. Did you see the new Huawei P50 pocket phone? Uh, I did see it. Uh, I saw Michael Fisher did a video on it. I definitely want to check it out. 
Uh, but um, I think I told you guys this before, we're in the process of possibly moving. Uh, I'm gonna actually use my camera tomorrow, take all of the photos uh, to go up on my listing and yeah, uh, my house will be going up for sale and hopefully it'll be good and yeah, we'll see how it goes. Um, let's see. I got the uh, Buds Pro by the foam tips from Amazon. They will fit perfect and awesome uh, special audio feature. Um, yeah, the buds. So I do like foam tips, although they are hard to find ones that fit in the case. So like I, the, the foam tips that I've gotten over the past twice, they're always a little bit bigger. Um, so yeah. Oh, a scorpion. There you go. Now I can see as soon as you said that I could see his hand and it goes around and then it gets that. So that's cool. Okay. Got it. Got it. Um, uh, but yeah, um, I just saw the animated movie the other day. I hadn't seen it forever. Scorpion's Revenge. They really changed the whole thing, but it was awesome nonetheless. Um, uh, the animated one, not the live action. I saw the live action when it came out. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, but the foam tips, sometimes when I get them, they don't close. Like, so you can't close it the same way because it won't fit all the way in. So it's cool if you got some, some of the Bud Pro ones that actually fit. Cause that's the hardest thing to find when you get foam tips. Uh, Rick, I'm in Brooklyn. The package is in New Jersey. Can't wait. Nice, Paul. Awesome, dude. Brooklyn, man. Uh, last time I was there was Samsung. Uh, uh, uh Samsung Unpacked. Uh, that was last time I was there. Twenty nineteen. Twenty nineteen was last time I was there. It was only my second time there. I've only gone to New York for Samsung and pack, believe it or not. I've never gone for like pleasure or anything like that. Like I've, I've, I don't think I've ever stayed there longer than a day either. Like what has happened the last two times has been, I fly out there like at night to get a hotel, uh, go to unpack that morning and then, and then catch a flight like at like 5 PM or something like that, uh, on the way back. So yeah, I haven't, I've not had much time to have fun unfortunately in uh new york but would definitely like to for sure um let's see i'll uh, definitely believe anything better than those uh reality hookup shows yeah i hope the move uh eventual sale goes well yeah man i hope so it goes well uh we'll see how we'll see how it all works out uh r.i.p circuit city hey ross and you know man uh yeah man r.i.p circuit city man i was there i was there there at circuit city and at best buy uh yeah rob you know actually who that girl was i don't know if you know that story though but yeah. <laughs> um but all right let's see uh all right so the final poll number 66 votes 59 percent prefer built-in s pen with smaller battery compared to 41 percent preferring no built-in s pen but the same battery so i'm curious i'm curious we'll see what happens with samsung it, it, it's a, it's a, it's almost it's still not a clear winner you know in this so it's pretty curious to see how it goes overall very curious to see circuit city never forget never Never forget those days. Uh, I still, anytime I hear that song, so Circuit City's theme song, they played it on the intercom. And it was like, I gave you just what I needed. Uh, like every time I hear that, I'm like, oh my God, I'm getting flashbacks. I always get flashbacks of Circuit City when I hear that song. Um, and it was like a, it was like a rock uh, pop song, uh, but yeah, it, it was became their theme song towards the end. And they played it all the time. Um, it was funny, actually. So inside baseball in Circuit City, uh, I CDs were around back then, and the thing they had in the intercom was actually based off of a CD player, um, and uh, they upgraded to finally play like full on um, regular disc uh, in terms of. What I mean by regular disc, so, you know, the old, depending on how you burned a CD, you either burned it with like 12 or 14 tracks, that, that can be played anywhere because it was regular CD, 
or you could burn it CDR version, which is a multimedia version, and that you could fit like 100, 128 songs or 120 songs on there. And that's what I did. Um, I used to be the person who made all the list mixes, and um, I used to, it was so hard to find the, uh, you know, the radio friendly versions because, you know, we would get so tired of the same songs all the time. So I'd be like, you know, I would do that. And then I would, uh, I would add holidays, uh, songs and everything like that, but I would add like 40 Christmas songs. So that again, mix in with the other songs. So it was like 80 regular songs and 40 Christmas songs. So we wouldn't get sick of it. Uh, we still all got sick of it, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, with my phone, uh, getting the earbuds, 45 watt charger, silicon case, uh, should, or should I get another case? Um, I personally love the clear case with kickstand. I think that's one of the best ones. Uh, it's thin profile, but you get a kickstand on top of it. So really good. I'm a big proponent of kickstand phones just because you have this nice big screen. It's really nice just to be able to, you know, go prop it up. Uh, whoops be able to prop it up and see your phone, then see your phone screen. It's just really nice for that purpose. So yeah, I, I'm a big fan of uh, kickstand ones. Uh, do you prefer T-Mobile over AT&T and Verizon? The service has been bad for me coming from Sprint. Um, first question I ask is, do you have a T-Mobile phone? Because if you had the Sprint phone, and um, and moved it over to T-Mobile, you're not gonna have as good service. Um, I know they told you it'll work and it will work, but it's not gonna work as good. So that's the first thing I'll tell you right away. Uh, the second thing is, is yes, I do, but it's obviously based on my coverage in Los Angeles, Long Beach area, um, Valley area. These are all the different places that I've lived. Um, T-Mobile service has been great. And I had Verizon so long, so far back that I had them when they were AirTouch. It was literally my first phone, you know, candy bar phone uh, with a green screen um, was my first phone, right? Only for emergencies. I had it in like, I think middle school and then high school, I, I had different phones, all that kind of stuff. Um, the LG Voyager, man, that was the phone still. Uh, but yeah, so all these different phones, right? These were the phones I had. Um, and so I had Verizon and it had the best service by far, uh, forward to, you know, around the S five, I think it was around the S five. I had a work phone that, uh, was T-Mobile and a personal phone. So I would start like getting two phones. I mean, this was around the time when I was doing reviews and all that kind of stuff. So I would have two phones. I would have usually an S series phone and then usually a note series phone. Um, and I started noticing something, uh, you know, normally when I was in the back of a store, Verizon would have full bars and T-Mobile wouldn't. And then T-Mobile started getting full bars. And so I started noticing that, oh wait, these are actually getting the same signal now. Then moving more forward, I started noticing that T-Mobile was getting faster internet speed in my areas. So I was like, man, that is really crazy. Um, so it ended up being just a better decision overall. Um, in my neighborhood too, um, there was this, I don't know what you would call it, huge, ridiculous antenna in the backyard of one of our neighbor's house. And, um, so yeah, so it was all that kind of stuff. Right. And he, it, it, Verizon just didn't have a good signal there ever a really great signal there. I always had dropped calls and everything like that. And again, I had T-Mobile as my secondary phone. So when I started seeing them, I'm like, wait, I still have signal with T-Mobile here. And so the more that happened, the more I was like, oh, okay. So yeah, it made sense for me to switch and T-Mobile just had better service. Um, obviously it varies from area to area, from definitely different parts of the country is a huge difference. So it all depends. Uh, Oh, inherent freeze in the video. Sorry about that. Um, no, I upgraded the Note 10 Plus uh, with Sprint Carrier version, and I have a T-Mobile 
Uh, yeah, so if you do upgrade to an actual T-Mobile version, you will have a better service for sure. It's just like the new T-Mobile commercial, uh, LOL, uh, do it for the phones. That was a funny Super Bowl commercial for sure. Okay, I want to install a custom ROM on my phone. Which one is better? Uh, by the way, the phone is the Realme C2. Um, I mean, it's whatever has the best support, whatever. Look at the history of the upgrades and see which one has uh, more up-to-date basic stuff and which one keeps getting refreshed. Uh, that's the biggest thing with ROMs is you are literally kind of at the mercy of who's ever upgrading the ROM and who creating the ROM and doing it. So you need to kind of go for them to be able to do it. Uh, so yeah, so that's the, that's the biggest thing with ROMs. You need to have support because that, that's all that matters. It really is all that matters. Um, but yeah, I've done, I've done, uh, I don't do ROMs anymore. I haven't done them for like five years. Uh, but that's my biggest thing is the, yeah, uh, is the biggest thing is just see which one keeps, see which one is on 1.1, 1 1.2, 1 1.3, 1 1.4, which ROM keeps getting updated because that's the most important thing for you in the long run for sure. But yeah. All right, guys, I'm going to be wrapping up. Uh, T-Mobile offered me a thousand to trade in, but it didn't mention that I would be going to the Magenta plan. Um, I have unlined everything for 64 bucks right now. I'm the same reason I have an old T-Mobile plan, so it's definitely better for me to keep that plan. Uh, but it doesn't mean you can't get the deals uh, on Samsung's website. So I posted those links uh, earlier and you can get uh, the T-Mobile deals for that. So you can trade in your... Note 10 plus for, you know, uh, Note, uh, or sorry, an S22 Ultra, or you can just get an S22, and it might not be obviously apples to apples if you get the S22, but your Note, your Note 10 plus is gonna trade in for a good amount of value, and you'll get better service. So I think that would be pretty worth it uh, for that purpose. All right, guys, uh, with that, I think we will call it a night. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in and checking uh, us out. If you can do me one last favor before you head out, give me a like, thumbs up. It really helps out the channel. Share this video and share all of the S22 content that's going to be coming out later this week. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube tech guy.